Save yourself a service call, save yourself a contractor, save yourself a disaster, damage, so on and so forth. Hey guys, Rafi Consker here, Preferred Plumbing. How y'all doing? What's going on, good people? What is happening in your life? What are you grateful for? What can you focus on? What's pushing you towards your desired outcome? Do you even know what your goals are? What are you looking for? What's your end game? Are you doing things in your day to get you closer to what you actually want in your life? Anyway, these are some things you should be pondering about, but it happens to be raining here right now, pretty cloudy and rainy. You can have a look and see. And uh, nice and gray out there. And it reminds me, just wanna give you guys a quick tip. Uh, when it's raining, you know, it's not winter now, so you can see your house, you can see the outside of your house, you can see the bricks of your house, you can see the ground around the home. It's really important to make sure your downspouts are clean and clear. Make sure there's no leaves or stuff stuck in the gutters. Make sure where the downspout terminates, meaning where it discharges onto grade, and if yours does that, make sure that that area is clean and clear as well. Because sometimes the downspout can be clear, water's coming off the roof, into the gutters, down the downspouts, discharges onto the ground, but there's either some dirt or debris or a rock or something in the way where water, instead of flowing slowly across the grass or across the ground and then slowly percolating down through the ground, it's kind of being obstructed and water pools. When water pools, you get what's called overland water. And then water can enter a space at large volumes where you don't want it to enter. And that's where people have foundations cracking, they have bricks falling apart, water in their basement, so on and so forth. As well, if you have a catch basin in front of your house or anywhere near where you can see it, you know, not just to be a good Samaritan, a good, uh, you know, not just to be a good community helper, but if you make sure that catch basin is clean and clear. If the catch basin is dirty, all the storm water from the street including your home is entering that catch basin. If the grits, the grill, that grate is clogged or water is taking too long to go down there, it can build up back up and back up into your storm drain as well. So these are things you want to think about. Look after your home, save some money, just be on top of little bits of maintenance here and there. And I don't mind sharing that information with you regularly. And I have in the past and you can very, very likely save yourself a service call, save yourself a contractor, save yourself a disaster damage, so on and so forth. I'm always here to help guys. Preferred plumbing solutions. Here we go. One of the service trucks came back to the office here. Anyhow, have a great day, guys. Love y'all.